Hello again guys and welcome back to another Big Old Devlin video and this is a sort of reincarnation if you wish a resurrection of a series that I did and ended roughly about a year ago called Big Owls Haunted now the whole purpose of that particular series was at the period of time that I was filming and editing and sharing the videos um, the property where I am at the moment was quite heavily haunted it was there was a poltergeist activity and numerous other kind of paranormal um, interactions such as voices and, and, and you know uh, sounds of footsteps and physical sort of um, residues so we say like footprints on, 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 on you know wet footprints on the floor and claw marks across some of the paintings in the house variety of different things you can go back and watch the videos yourself to remind you of what some of the things that we experienced now i do have some old footage from back then that i never shared um i simply didn't get around to sharing it uh, editing it down and you know making it obviously in a format that's watchable um but the reason i stopped was not because you know i just i couldn't be asked anymore but because the activity got very quiet um it's like the spirit left um, in essence, or just decided to um, yeah, sort of coexist, so to speak. Now, there is a particular reason for this, something I never shared, but we did perform um, uh, a ritual or ceremony, if, if you wish to call it that, um, based upon a practice of Seder magic, where uh, we essentially performed the high seat ritual. Now, regardless of whatever that is, it doesn't really matter, guys. It's not the focus of this video. But there was a commune, essentially, with the spirit or the primary spirit in the house that was doing the poltergeist activity within the property and a deal was struck and the, the, the spirit is not bothered us since however it is as i say a year later that i find myself doing this series again and i'm doing this series for one primary reason but there are other additional little mini reasons also first of all there's been a few requests people have been asking over the you know last year oh you know what's happened with the videos that you're not uploading anymore and my answer has always been well nothing's happening it's quiet i'm i'm you know at the end of the day i'm not here to falsify my findings or put up uh, videos that are edited or photoshopped or whatever you would do with the videos to to make it look like you found something when there isn't anything there i'm a genuine believer um, in spirits and the other world um, but I as a result paradoxically you could argue I'm very much more skeptical about the evidence that I find I really don't trust any of the evidence I find unless it's sort of you know overwhelming or corroborates with with it with itself essentially and so you know when i present you the videos of the findings that i've found before in the past it's really just there for you to kind of make your mind up on how you interpret it and what you see in that um, um along with my own interpretations but i'm not trying to force them on you okay because as i say even though i believe in it i don't um like to be fooled you know i know there are things such as optical illusions i know there are you know where you know, you know you're sensory deprived you you may see or hear things that perhaps aren't there or at least interpret things incorrectly more to the point um and so i am skeptical but consequently this is why i've not been sharing a lot of footage with you recently because simply there's been nothing to share but as i say a year later i find myself doing this video not only because there's been requests but generally because things are starting to happen again it was a year ago roughly today that you know things started to happen um it was a year ago that started started to happen um and it's different this time around there's no real poltergeist activity minor amounts here and there yeah definitely we had a door slam today um and a few things fall over and stuff but it's not as frequent as it used to be perhaps that frequency will pick up you know um, as I say, it seems to be in its early days, but we, we had, we've had a year of nothing and now all of a sudden we're getting stuff again. But it's primarily voices, sounds, footsteps, bangs, you know, things like this. Um, so we're not seeing like cupboards open at this point like we used to do. Um, 
yes, we've had a little bit of door movement, but you know, it's not as frequent as, as it used to be. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to restart the series, um, showing new evidence. I'm not going to provide you with the stuff that we got over a year ago. I might do it at one point, but because um, there was some good stuff that I haven't put up. But what I'm going to do is, sh is try to get certain findings that are happening now. I'm going to get a variety of different pieces of equipment to help me with this. So we're not just doing cameras. Uh, we'll, we'll have multiple cameras at the very least, but you know we'll have um monitors um and and everything to try and get as many different types of readings to share with you guys as possible that is of course if the first preliminary camera setups come up with anything um and if it quietens down again um, we're not going to get very far with it but i've got a feeling that you know the activity is on the up for whatever reason and we may have to do another ritual ceremony again um to um, find out what's going on but first of all we need to identify what spirits are doing what because I don't think it's the spirit of last time the poltergeist that we had I think the deal was made and the deal is set and I don't think that is the cause of what's going on at the moment there was always multiple spirits in this property um, and just the others were a bit quieter but they're starting to get loud again um, and I don't know why but that's what the series will be about, trying to understand the motivations and what happens, as well as obviously showing you what's happening. So I'll see you soon, guys, with a new series, um, and I will put it up as soon as possible. Thank you.